So this came in the mail today. Um, I wanted to switch for my uh, my radio for Antenna One, Dummy Load, maybe Spectrum Analyzer or something like that. Anyway, um, I wanted to switch. And uh, these are only 12 bucks on eBay uh, from China. Uh, came here really fast, uh, so I'm not sure exactly where it came from, but it did get here really fast. I, yeah, it was from China. Anyway, sometimes you get them really quick, sometimes they take forever. Um, uh, it says 1000 watts, I doubt it. <laughs> I'm only going to use 100 watts. Um, but it's a 1 to 3. Um, but I noticed there's an off position. So, antenna 1, antenna 2, antenna 3, and off. And I was really, really skeptical about this off position because it's, you know, it'd be really easy to accidentally put, go to off and then you have an open load and you might blow up your, uh, blow up your radio. So I'd rather have it, uh, just one, two, three and not have an off position. Um, so anyway, I've already taken the back off of it. Uh, um, so let's see if you can see this. Um. Uh, this is the switch down here, and it feels pretty good. It has a um, a ball bearing, um, and it, it feels reasonable. It looks like it might be silver plated. Uh, looks like it has double wiper contacts. No, no, single wiper contact. Single wiper contact. Um, but it's a dual pole. Uh, there's a it's a dual pole four way switch. Um, and, uh, so what I did was, um, I get something to point with. Um, so this is antenna one, antenna two, antenna three, and then this is the output here that's on a common, uh, commutator. Um, and then this is the off position. Uh, so I put this, I put this link in here so that uh, these two are shorter together, so either the output one or the off position both select antenna one. Okay, so that's going to be my main antenna. Uh, so I can either get to get to output one or crank it all the way left. I'm still at output one, so no chance of it uh, having an open. Uh, the box was wired really dumb. <laughs> um, it had uh, connections to the actual. Uh, uh, 259 connectors had one soldered on each connector, which is good because you sometimes can't rely on uh, the screws, especially if it's painted and everything. So I kind of like uh, having them all soldered. But what they did was instead of soldering them all together, they actually brought them to the other pole of the switch. So uh, I didn't video it, but it, the, the, the output ground used to go to here, and then the three antenna grounds went here. Even though they're all shorted out anyway, it made no sense to me. Why? Why would you switch grounds? So, I just took them all and uh, uh, wired them all together for good. That's the way it should have been made in the first place. So anyway, that's my hack. Um, so now I have all the grounds connected uh, solidly, and I have uh, the off off switch and the antenna one switch both wired to be the same thing, so much, much better. Um, I know uh, there was a suggestion by, um, oh, what's his call sign, W2AW, uh, the Tektronics guy, uh, you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, he said he likes to um, use the unused switch to run into like a spectrum analyzer and just kind of pick up stray RF in here. Um, I'm not sure I like that idea because, again, if you accidentally switch over here, then you're transmitting directly into your spectrum analyzer. Um, so if you wanted to do that, I would say go ahead and put just a stub that kind of catches the RF and then, again, short pins, um, uh, two and three together. So... So three actually doesn't do anything at all. There's nothing on the switch, and then this connector just has a has a stub. It kind of acts as a coupler inside of the uh, inside of the switch. So that's probably how I would have it wired up. But um, right now I'm just going to leave it as a three-way switch. All right.